What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Red Thorn is the name. Lineage 2 Revolution is the game. I've got a Fortress Siege. Finally. Here we are, April 19th. Doing a Fortress Siege. The last time I did this was March 28th, almost a month ago. That is crazy. That is insane how long it's taken for, for somebody to finally, not bid block, to finally win a bid and fight for a fortress. So let's get into what we have going on here. What we have, this is for a B grade fortress. Unfortunately, not an A grade or an S grade. It happens, but at least we got something. It is Brotherhood from the Alliance Alliance and Eternal from the Heaven Alliance are going at it for this B grade fortress. And let's see here, ranking, combat power, clan. All right, so Eternal's jumped up a little bit. Let's see, oh, there we go. We have Brotherhood. At 132.2, basically, million combat power in totality for their clan. Eternal, a little bit under 9 million, behind at 123.5 million. We all know combat power doesn't mean anything. The numbers were definitely a lot uh, further apart a few minutes ago than they are now. So definitely some stacking has gone on there. This is for a B grade, and they're stacking up like it's an S grade or something. That's outstanding. That's fantastic. Let us head into the battlefield. B grade, eternal, one million Adena for the right to challenge Brotherhood for this battle. I guess that's more or less, uh, usually you see it around 500,000 to a million Adena, so that's not too bad. Too bad. In a fortress siege. All right, zooming out, we have Brotherhood in the blue. There is Fubaria, Brotherhood's leader. And Brotherhood is on the top. Well, that was too easy. Looks like they're all rip roaring and ready to go. Come on over here, see if anybody's stacking. Of course they are. They always stack on both both sides. Some new faces here, old faces, not too shabby. Let's head on over to Good luck to Eternal. There's the leader running around. It's like Gene Pool. Standard, as always, for Eternal. Stagging up here on their spawn side. And we have 60 seconds before we begin. Some more over here. Super exciting and super stoked for this battle. It doesn't matter how it turns out, at least we finally get one after almost a month. Insane. Eternal are the attackers. I will be following them, as I always do. No shocker there. 30 seconds before we begin. 20 seconds before we begin. 10 seconds before we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Brotherhood versus Eternal. Fortress Siege, number 23. Eternal. Not doing what many do there. Okay, one of them went out to the, t the, uh, the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Brotherhood. Eternal. Managed to interrupt Brotherhood on their altar imprint, but are going again. Eternal about to get doors. Oh, interrupted with about a one second to go. Brotherhood about to get theirs. Eternal interrupted. Brotherhood interrupted. Outstanding. This is the fight we've been waiting for. Well, a fight we've been waiting for. Both teams interrupting the other for altar imprints. Brotherhood trying again. No Eternal up here. Eternal unable to get their own altar imprint. And then started again. Brotherhood is about three seconds, two se No, interrupted. Good job there, Eternal. Eternal interrupted also. Eternal trying for Brotherhood's now interrupted and trying for their own. This is a great battle going on right now. This is outstanding. Neither team able to get an altar imprint started. And then they finally have done so and were interrupted. Brotherhood started interrupted. Eternal started interrupted. Brotherhood trying again. A defensive tower has been destroyed. In fact, this gate, the non-spawn gate of Eternal has gone down. However, neither team able to get an alter imprint right now. Both teams trying again. Both teams interrupted. Brotherhood trying again. For a B-grade fortress, this is way too exciting. I love it. 
Brotherhood. About four seconds. Three seconds. Two sec. Oh, interrupted. Eternal, trying again. Eternal, halfway there. Are they going to be able to get this? Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. And Eternal has gotten the ten percent buff. Brotherhood still trying to get theirs. Great job by Eternal. They're gonna come flooding up here to try to get the thirty percent. And here's where the insanity is going to ensue. Four Brotherhoods alter imprint. Brotherhood trying to get it. They are halfway there. Almost there. We might have a tie here. We might have a tie. One second, and Brotherhood has gotten the ten percent buff for the next three minutes. We are tied right now, except Eternal's non-spawn gate has been destroyed. We'll see how this is going to ensue right now. Whole lot of fighting going on up here. Looks like... Eternal's trying to go after the defense tower of the non-spawn gate of Brotherhood. Unable to, su to successfully... Oh, look at down here. Brotherhood got some imprint time there. Eternal doing a good job of pushing them back, but I believe Brotherhood is now ahead. And the tiebreaker should have come down to that. We have... A battle going on here down at Eternal's Holy Artifact area. And let's see what's going on there. Oh, it looks like the... Is that the spawn gate of Brotherhood? Has been destroyed. Interesting. Very interesting. Eternal's still trying to do some defense down at their Holy Artifact. Looks like one of the Holy... Uh, one of the defense towers for the non-spawn gate of Brotherhood has been taken down. Eternal's got one minute left before their altar imprint is one and done. Interesting strategy here. Or they just found an opening and took advantage of that. Got a lot of battling going on. Looks like uh, the, the spawn gate of Eternal has now been taken down. Both their gates are gone now. Looks like Gene Pool tried to do some imprinting and was unable to to get anything, but maybe tied it up, got close to it. This Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Eternal is about to go down, about one quarter of its life left. They are, Eternal is working on Brotherhood's other spawn non-spawn gate defense tower. Eternal ha is now imprinting their uh, their altar. And Brotherhood has interrupted them. Big battle going on down here. Brotherhood, 10 seconds left before theirs expires and must get it again. Eternal having trouble trying to get their altar imprint. They are halfway there. Brotherhood is ready to be imprinted. Eternal, three seconds, two seconds, one second, and they have gotten a 10% buff and managed to interrupt Brotherhood. They'll come flooding up here once again. Eternal trying for Brotherhoods. Interrupted, trying again, interrupted, trying again, interrupted, trying again, interrupted. Brotherhood, 333 kills and counting versus Eternal's 265. I think we are virtually tied in Holy Art, Holy Artifact imprint time at this point. Eternal trying again and interrupted, not allowing Brotherhood to get in here. Brotherhood is starting to imprint the Holy Artifact regardless, trying to prove that they don't need... 15 seconds remaining, wow. And they've tried again and, they, and failed, but they've got to be at least 6 seconds or so ahead. Brotherhood trying to prove that they don't need an, an alter imprint to win this fight. But they're about to get get it right now. Not enough red up here. Brotherhood, two seconds. No, interrupted. Good job there, Eternal. 
Eternal trying again interrupted. Brotherhood trying. Interrupted. Again. Trying again. Eternal with one minute and thirty seconds left on their altar imprint. Brotherhood, about three seconds left. Two seconds. No! Interrupted. Good job there, Eternal. And down here. There's still a blues. There's still blues coming down here to harass Eternal, keeping these people down here when they need to be up there trying to get that 30%. Brotherhood. Interrupted. Eternal. 60 seconds before their alter imprint expires. And unable to get to Brotherhoods. Gene Pool trying to get some time on Brotherhoods. Holy Artifact, but they still have two very full health Holy Artifact defense towers right now. Oh, there goes one. Never mind. Maybe a little lag there. All right, that gets some breathing room to Gene Pool. Neither Brotherhood or Eternal able to get Brotherhood's Alter Imprints. Eternal trying again and interrupted. Brotherhood is down here. There's Fubaria. Getting more time. And finally killed. But Brotherhood definitely holds the advantage right now in the tiebreaker. Eternal now has to go back and get their own altar imprint. But Brotherhood is there to try to get it themselves. And they're getting their own. Brotherhood interrupted on Eternals. Brotherhood now has the 10% buff. We might see the tables turned. They're going to come flooding down here if they get this 30%. That's, that's not good for Eternal. Eternal trying to get their own. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Brotherhood surrounding Eternals Alter Imprint right now. And they are imprinting Eternals Alter Imprint. Pool trying for Brotherhood's Holy Artifact in their Kubaria again down here. Brotherhood about to get 30% buff. Two seconds, one second. They may now have a 30% buff for the next two minutes and nine seconds. That is devastating. That's a long time in a fight like this. Both teams. Spawn and non-spawn gates are down. And the Holy Artifact defense towers for Eternal, both of them are down. Brotherhood has one left. Eternal is going, going to be on the defensive for sure now. As Brotherhood has a 30% buff for the next 1 minute 35 seconds. And there is Brotherhood in force. Brotherhood stopped, but more time. Eternal trying to fight back, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I think we're about to see the end of this battle. Brotherhood still has. One minute of 30% buff. I guess they're waiting for Fubari. There's Fubari right there. With the crown above his or her head. I don't assume genders, I don't know. But they are imprinting the Holy Artifact. 10 seconds before they win this battle. 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And no! Wow! With one second left, Eternal managed to stop Brotherhood from winning this battle. Holy moly! That is crazy right there, but that is 19 seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time that Brotherhood managed to get. That is a huge amount to try to overcome for the tiebreaker for Eternal right now. 
Brotherhood has five seconds left on their 30% buff. No doubt they are geared up and ready to get their own. They sure look like it there. Brotherhood still, there's Fubaria. Brotherhood still pushing down towards Eternal's Holy Artifact. But Fubaria has been killed. There is Brotherhood trying to get their own Altar Imprint. And they have been interrupted a couple times now. They have less than... Well, they have 25 seconds on their 10% buff. They are trying to get their own Altar Imprint right now. And it interrupted. Eternal basically needs a 30% buff right now if they want to make an attempt to win this battle. The respawn timers are getting a little insane. And if they're not willing to use red gems to respawn, I think that's all she wrote. But Eternal managed to interrupt Brotherhood from imprinting Eternal's Alter Imprint, but Eternal has been interrupted on their own. Brotherhood now has the 10%. They're going to come flooding down here. As we see right now, they're going to get the 30% buff. Looks like Eternal's up here trying to get some time back. Eternal, 15 seconds. Eternal may pull the upset off. 10 seconds left. Oh, I think he's been interrupted. No, he's still going. No, he was interrupted. He was interrupted. He was trying again. He got some time back for sure. He absolutely got some time back. And he's trying again. 15 seconds. Eternal, I think Eternal is definitely caught up now. Oh, Gene Pool goes down, but he got it another 10 seconds there. And he got, what, 10 to 15 on the one prior to that. I think they have definitely caught up now. But Brotherhood has a 30% buff. They are coming here to defend their Holy Artifact. Good try, Eternal. Boy, you were so close. You definitely had Brotherhood shocked on that, I think. They weren't expecting that. They were down there at Eternal's Holy Artifact trying to win this battle. And Eternal snuck up here and managed to get a whole heck of a lot of time. I think they more or less tied it up. It's difficult to tell since we can't see anyway. All we're looking at right now is just kills and deaths. That's all we can see. And time remaining. But Brotherhood's down here at Eternal trying to do the same thing Eternal just did to Brotherhood. And get some Holy Artifact imprint time. And Gene Pool has gotten more time for Eternal. Back and forth. Wow, this is outstanding. Eternal doesn't care that Brotherhood has a 30% buff. They are still giving it their all in this battle. Right now, we have 15 minutes left to go in this battle. What a fantastic fight. Boy, we needed something like this in almost a month of not having it. This is phenomenal right now. Eternal doing a great job defending their Holy Artifact and Gene Pool and his crew that have gone up there to get imprint time for Eternal has done a great job in catching up. Now, what will happen in the last 15 minutes? We're about to find out. Gene Pool getting more Holy Artifact imprint time. Eternal. Killing off Fubaria, not allowing Fubaria to come down here to get imprint time for Brotherhood. We see what could potentially be a good battle going on up here for Brotherhood's Altar Imprint. They are trying for it. Gene Pool died again, interrupted. Brotherhood been interrupted. On their Alter Imprint, they only have 15 seconds left of the 10% buff of Eternal's Alter Imprint. Brotherhood trying again on their own. Interrupted. 5 seconds left on Eternal's Alter Imprint and the 10% buff. And Eternal tried to go for Brotherhood and now they're trying to go for their own. Doing a good job of preventing Brotherhood from getting anything at this point. Eternal, halfway through, getting their own Alter Imprint. Uh, interrupted on both though, unfortunately. Gene Pool still going after the altar, the holy artifact of 
Brotherhood to try to get more time. Eternal trying to go for both right now. Interrupted on both. Looks like a big battle's going down here. And Eternals. There's Fubaria. Fubaria stun. Imprinting. Fubaria getting some time. Fubaria's killed. Neither team able to get an alter imprint right now. Gene Pool also trying to get in. There's Gene Pool again. Trying to get some time. I think he got like one tenth of a second before he was killed. Unfortunately. Alright. Oh, so close on Eternal. Almost got that alter imprint. Brotherhood about two seconds, one second. Brotherhood has a 10% buff. They're going to come flooding down to Eternals. Eternal likely not going to get this. Maybe. Yep, they were interrupted. Trying to get interrupted again. Gene Pool is just throwing himself at Brotherhood's Holy Artifact, just trying to get tenths of tenths of seconds to try to catch up. I don't know how far behind they are. It can't be more than, well, I think at this point, there's probably about five seconds or so with, four, with 11 minutes and 53 seconds. I would say Brotherhood's probably around five to 10 seconds. It's difficult, we can't see, only they can. Eternal doing a good job of preventing Brotherhood from getting the 30% buff. A lot of battling going on down here. All right, Brotherhood trying. Gene Pool trying again. A lot of red up here now. Gene Pool getting some time. Oh, took a meteor shower to the face. He survived it and trying again. Great job there, Gene Pool. He's trying again. He's definitely caught up with whatever Brotherhood had. Look at him. He, oh, he was all by himself. He got stunned. He's trying again. He needs some defenders. He's got defenders, but they need to defend a little bit better. Ah, oh, he's interrupted it again, and he has died. But boy, if anything right now, with 10 minutes and 47 seconds left, I would say Eternal has caught up to Brotherhood in Holy Artifact imprint time. But now we come down here to Eternal's we got a big battle going on down here. Gene Pool trying again. No doubt he's got some elder... Elder Saints, I think they're called. God, I haven't played this game in so long, I don't even remember what they're called. But they have the resurrection ability. No doubt he has at least one or two. There's Fubaria trying to get some time. Interrupted, but got a, a couple of seconds right there. Trying again. Interrupted and killed. Ten minutes left in this battle. Great battle we have going on right now. That's two times Eternal has managed to sneak into Brotherhood's base and get a massive amount of Holy Artifact imprint time, likely tying it up and or trying to get the lead. Eternal doing a great job. I'm wondering if they're going to go on the defensive. It's a long time to try to defend for the next almost 10 minutes. If they are ahead in Holy Artifact Imprint time, that is for sure. Brotherhood's going to... Five seconds before Brotherhood has to imprint their own altar. And they have begun doing so. There is Gene Pool again, but he has died. Brotherhood, three seconds, two seconds, one second. And they have gotten a 30% buff in the next 51 seconds. Will Eternal be able to stop them down here? Still have 45 seconds before they have to. Big battle going on up here. There's Gene Pool. He's trying to get more time. Look at him. Look at him. He is just stacking that time right now. He got at least five seconds on that. I, I don't know. Right now, I would say that if they're not tied, Eternal has to be ahead with eight minutes and 36 seconds left. But there's nothing wrong with getting more time. You really don't need to go on the, on the defensive until about two minutes or so left, in all honesty. Looks like Gene Pool trying again. And managed to get a little bit more. Kubaria also trying. 
but killed. Gene Pool needs to come back. Back down here to the Eternal Holy Artifact. It's just great battling all around this battlefield right now. As both teams vie for Holy... There goes Fubaria. Both teams vying for Holy Artifact Imprint Time. I think they both realize that this is definitely going to go to the tiebreaker. Fubaria got a good three or four seconds there and was killed. Come on, let's go on up here. Here comes Eternal. Trying to flood up here. It's a lot of them versus not many of Brotherhood. If Gene Pool is there, there he is. Oh, he tried. And he's trying again. He's getting time. There's three seconds. Four seconds. Five seconds. Look at this. He is getting a ton of time right now. He is all by himself. Eternal. Six seconds for winning. Nope. Wasn't able to do it. But that is a massive amount of time right there. Look at the Eternal. Nope. Brotherhood's about to win this battle. Brotherhood. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Is anybody going to stop Brotherhood? No. Oh. What a, what a way to lose that right there. No one was there to stop Brotherhood. Congratulations to Brotherhood for successfully defending their B-grade fortress against Eternal. Eternal, you guys gave them what for? That is absolutely for sure. Here are your stats. Unbelievable. What a way to lose that. You guys are so close, Eternal, to winning that battle. And it looks like Brotherhood went down there and there just wasn't enough Eternal defenders to stop them from imprinting the Holy Artifact. That is unfortunate, Eternal. Extremely unfortunate. But hey, you guys gave them everything that you had. That was a great battle on both sides. Eternal, I think you were the underdogs, but you still managed to do what you did, which was fantastic. All right, and that is the end of your stats. Can I get to the top? Penguins on Eternal got number one, and Brotherhood on the other side got number two. Ladies and gentlemen, Great battle. I hope we see more of these in the future. I don't want to wait another almost 30 days before another Fortress Sheets happens. Let's keep them coming. Let's keep them coming, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.